Coach, uh, talk about this one. What happened out there? It all happened pretty fast, too. Yeah, it, it, it did. Um, tough, tough loss. Uh, the, the, the way it happened as well was um, was difficult to, to take. Um, started the game and uh, confident, moved the ball well, but, but really early on we, we made a mistake close to our goal conceded possession in a, in a really bad area um, and you know a team at the level of pit and the players that that, that pit has uh, they're 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 going to take advantage of that and they punished us immediately uh, but our, our response our response was good um, we we got you know I, I don't think it affected our confidence or, or our belief and, and we we came back and went right back to the plan um, but again, we, you know, we conceded, uh, we conceded possession. We, we, um, we made some, some critical mistakes. Uh, and I feel like that, that really is the story of the scoreline. Uh, did a lot of things well in the match in, in terms of our ability to, to possess the ball, to move down the field um, and didn't, didn't create maybe the level of quality of chances that, that we would want to create. Um, and, uh, but, but also had, but also had some good chances where if we're a little bit better in those moments, we, we get a goal back. Um, but, but overall, you know, we're, we're disappointed in, in the result, even though for, for long periods of time, we were playing at a level that I think is, is necessary to be successful in the match. Was there like anything that Pitt did that surprised maybe the players that was kind of what would you explain those kind of the miscues there early because certainly a team like Pitt they're going to make you pay if you make any mistakes. Yeah, I mean to to be honest, I, I I was I was more surprised at how well we were able to keep the ball and move the ball than than anything. Um, we just like you, you, it was nothing Pitt necessarily did. It's it was really just decisions that we made in, in an area of the field where um, you you cannot make these kind of mistakes. Um, you know, we, we've always kind of encouraged our team to play out of the back, and um, we've been really effective at doing that. And 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 we just we were not efficient in in those moments. And the, the reality is if, if you play this way in, in the way that we play and you give away possession in those areas, um, the way we did today, uh, it, it, you know, you have to be, you have to be very fortunate not, not to concede. Um, and, uh, and different teams make different choices in, in, in terms of, you know, whether they choose to take that risk. Um, you know, we choose to take that risk to play out because we think, on the other side of that risk, it's um, there's a benefit, but today, today, um, today we made too many mistakes, and it and it cost us in a big way. Do you attribute any of those mistakes to nerves that the moment may have been bigger than the players? Anything on that? You know, I, I, oddly enough, I didn't feel the nerves of the team. I I felt we were really brave in in different moments um, that I think if we were nervous, we would have, we, we, we just would have dumped the ball. You know, we, we wouldn't have even taken the chance. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what it was. Uh, I, I felt nervousness. I thought we were more nervous playing SMU in the semifinal than we were today. I felt we looked really confident today. Um, and, uh, and may, may, maybe, maybe overconfident in some of those moments where we, where we look to hold the ball and play. Um, but I, I also don't, the, the scoreline is what it is. That, that's what happened. Um, but I also don't think in the balance of play that that scoreline reflects the game. Um, it, it, it's, it's an unfortunate, unflattering scoreline. Um, and I think, I think it very easily could have been incredibly a, a very different game you had opportunities you outshot them i mean if you could get that goal in probably changes the complexion of the match uh, was it a case of they you know their goalkeeper making great saves you just not pleased with the way you finish how would you equate on the offensive end 
I, I think that the, the type of chances that we got were not high percentage chances um, in, in, in the same way. You know, I think there were, there were a lot of chances, but, it, but in reality, uh, I think at times in that final third, we, we could have done better. Um, whether it be, you know, a better finish, whether getting the ball out from underneath our feet to step into it, to strike it with more power, um, whether that final ball, uh, final cross, uh, that, that moment we either made a better choice or, or created a better chance. I, I feel like t today um, we got into really good positions uh, frequently and, and then maybe in, in the final third, we just weren't, we weren't clinical enough. What was your message to the team at half and what was their reaction uh, to being down quickly like that, knowing that some of that self-inflicted, of course? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we talked about what happened in the game in terms of what, what we were doing um, that was working, what, what, what we were doing. Um, that we wanted to keep doing and, and and then we had to try to go and press them and get a goal back quickly um because you know it, it, if you get to 3-1 and you get a little confidence by by getting after them early on in that game in that second half then then now um now you've got a chance but but that that goal did not come um and and we needed it to we needed it to we needed it to come early in that second half I know it's tough to put it in words in the short term here, but you've had a remarkable year and a unique year. Obviously, you know, didn't play in the fall, played in the spring. They played in the fall. Uh, it's such a unique year in yeah. soccer. Just describe this year, playing the spring, starting out one and three, win the conference regular season title, tournament title, and get to a second straight Sweet 16. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it's it's an incredible year. Where, I mean, you're, you're never satisfied um, when – when you you play that final game when, whenever it is um but just what what we've overcome this this team and how it came together after a, a really rocky start uh it's 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 incredible this, this this the the connectedness of this team the um what they've achieved is uh, uh, you know to, to it's to be able to go back-to-back -back Sweet 16s, back-to-back uh, -back regular season champions, back-to-back-to-back, um, -to -back -to -back, sorry, and then, and then a playoff championship. Like, this is, this is it's, it's a consistent level of performance. Um, and, and the group, you know, I, I, I'm sure they're not thinking about this now, but in, in a few weeks' time, they're they're going to reflect on this season and, and, and realize that what, what they've accomplished. Um, but again, they're going to want they're going to be hungry and want more, which, which which is which is great. Your program has shown itself to be one of the best in the country, and mistakes notwithstanding, credit to Pittsburgh. You may have played a national champion today. Oh, Pittsburgh! Pitt Pitt is a top top team. Um, it's why they were the two seed. Uh, it's it's why they, you know, e even though to some degree we feel like this is self-inflicted, you know, the, a, a lesser team doesn't capitalize on those chances, um, and uh, it's it's the reason it's the reason that they're here as the two seed uh, is because they're a top top team and they know how to they know how to win games, um, and uh, they're 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 incredibly well coached um it's a team of talented players so you know it's a it, it, it's a team that could easily go on and, and continue and, and and could be national champions i agree with that now it's so unique because before you know it you'll have the fall uh you and i have talked about this ironically i've been playing a two semester and here you are you're basically going to do that here in 2021 take us through What's it going to be like now here in the next coming months for your program? Obviously, some roster decisions, guys who's coming back, who's not, and things like that. What's this going to be like, though? Because before you know it, August will be around in a, in a fall season. No, I, th I think, you know, it's um, we have a lot of work to do and, and not a whole lot of time to, to take off um, and, and enjoy – kind of what 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 was accomplished we're, we're basically turning right around and uh 
you know, the recruiting ban uh, is being lifted in the first of June. So we'll be back on the road. Um, we'll, we'll, you know, look at uh, how we can grow as a program. We'll, you know, we'll meet with players and, and talk to them about how, how they can get better and what, what they need to do. And before you know it, our guys will be back here for summer B and getting, getting fit and ready for a, a, a big, big fall season. So uh, I, honestly, it's exciting uh, to be able to do it this way. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's, I, 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 I don't need much time off. Time to get ready to go back to work. I'll end with this one, coach. You mentioned recruiting back-to-back -back Sweet 16s. That's a tremendous card to play in the recruiting uh, battles. Uh, this is a program that's transformed over the last couple of years. You're closer and closer each year, and, and that must help you out on the recruiting trail to be able to say that. Oh, yeah. And, we, you, you know, the, the, the reality is, is that um, we, we, we have made big, big strides, and, and uh, I think the, the, the players – that we're most interested in, they they want to be a part of something special and something different, um, and so it is. It it's our our our, our success and how we work as as coaches and, and this environment that's created by the coaches and players. Um, it's it's exciting to be a part of, and I think we're we, we're going to continue to recruit really high level athletes and, and soccer players here. Coach.